What does this rivalry mean? I mean, three always likes to say, these are the kind of rivalries. This is why you come to Miami. This is why you go to Florida or Florida State to play in these kind of series. You know, for you guys, what what does it mean to line up against a team that you know as well as Florida? You know, it's really fun to be able to present the University of Miami in games like this. And, and like you said, it's absolutely why you come here. There's a lot of passion, and, and it's really just a fun game. And to be able to go out and put orange and green on and, and play in those games, it, it's great. How about, how, the challenge? How, about the, how about the challenge of facing a team that three says is probably the most talented one they've had in a while? Yeah, absolutely. Very talented team. Um, you, you have to give them a lot of, a lot of respect. But it, it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be a fun challenge. You know, we're not going to shy away from it by any means. We're going to go in there and be confident and play, and play our game. What have you seen so far on the scout, just on, on the hitters you're going to face Friday night? Uh, I think they have a lot of the same hitters from last year. I think they lost a couple, picked up a couple of big, big prospects. But, you know, overall it's going to be a pretty similar team to last year. And I just think I have to pitch my game and stay within myself and trust that if I do what I'm supposed to, it will take care of itself. What, what have you learned about your team so far this season? We're fighters. Uh, you saw it last night. You know, we definitely didn't play our, our best game by any means. But, you know, we, we didn't give up. This team's very close and, and together. And we have one goal in mind, and it's to win. And, and that's what we, we had to show last night. Do you know any any uh, the Gators, you know, personally? Um, I don't think so. I, I've known a couple in the past, but now that I'm, I'm a senior, and I've been here four years, it's a lot of new guys. So I don't think I know any of them personally. No. Did you pitch against them in the World Series? I did not, no. You did not. You're... Uh, you know, they, they eliminated you last year and they've eliminated you several times in the past few years from the entire season. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, I know that has to be in your mind a little bit. What's that like? Uh, we're just going into the game with, with a chip on our shoulder. You know, we want to we wanna play them good. We want to win. And, you know, it, they, they finished us off last year and we have to use that as motivation going into this weekend. What about the pitch within yourself? And do all that, but when you get on the mound against that team, the adrenaline, how do you do that? You just got to take a step back off the mound, take a deep breath, and, and collect yourself and go about your business just like every other game. You know, we expect a great crowd. The fans are going to be great. And, and there is definitely going to be adrenaline, but you have to use it for good and not let it get the best of you. I was going to ask you a little bit about the environment you guys are going to have. It's here this time, not up there. Correct. You know, how much does that just add to it, that, that it'll be here? It's your park. It'll still be pretty divided. But uh, what's it like to pitch in front of a crowd like that? Oh, the crowd here, it's great to pitch in front of. You know, we saw it even Rutgers the first weekend. We had great crowds. And, and I think it gives us a big advantage to, to pitch in front of them. You know, our fans are great. They're active. They're loud. And it, it's, it's a big advantage. I'll steal one of Susan's questions, the weather. It's, it's obviously going to be pretty cold, windy conditions. Like, how do you even begin to compensate for something like that? I mean, they have to deal with it, too. It's not like it's just you guys. But. Well, it, it'll be cold, but it'll be a lot warmer than it was playing them in Gainesville <laughs> last year. So that's always, you know, that's always good. But, you, I mean, you just have to, if it's colder, maybe warm up a little bit more. You, once you get out there and the adrenaline's going, you don't feel it nearly as much as you do maybe watching in the stands. But, you know, you just have to try to play the game the same way. The weather might be different, might be a bigger crowd, a rival team, but you have to play it the same way. From what you've seen, what makes their lineup so dangerous top the bottom? Um, the depth. You know, they're good one through nine. They have some of the country's best hitters. But, you, I mean, yeah, they're just solid throughout. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate it. Quick and painless, right?